Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Harsha's Academy. Today we are going to learn about network planning and under network planning we will st uh, study classification of events. Now first we will focus on network planning. Network planning is the classification of activities involved in project implementation. Whenever you want to complete any project first you should know what are the list of activities to be carried out. Then now the first step in network planning is first you should know what are the different activities you have to carry out to uh, get your project. Once you know the list of the activities now the second step you should know the sequence of the activities then means what will be your first activity what will be your second activity. Suppose on construction site your first activity is your brickwork. After completion of brickwork only you will start your plastering then plumbing. So in this way you should know the activities and their sequence. So this much you should know in network planning. Now once you are done with the network planning uh, you have to move towards the classification of events. Basically there are two types of events that is activity on arrow and activity on node okay so first we will study the classification of events based on activity on arrow now under activity on arrow we have to see these five classifications so activity suppose this is your first node okay and this is your second node let i am assuming it number one and this is number two and if i am joining these two nodes with the help of one arrow so this is your activity whatever the activity comes that will come under your activity on your arrow. Suppose, Suppose let I am assuming one activity A that A will be let it be brickwork. So under classification of events number node 1 will act as tail event of activity A means from node 1 your activity will start that's why it is called as tail event and node 2 uh, is called as head event of activity A. Head of the arrow is here and uh, your activity will be completed at node 2. So it is called as head event. So here we are done with tail event and head event. Now moving towards dual role event. You can see this node 2 is acting as head event for activity A and tail event for activity B. So this node 2 is called as your dual role event because it playing it is playing both the roles head and tail simultaneously that is why it is called as dual role event. Then fourth is your burst event. If from a single node or single point if I am starting more than one activities then it is called as burst event. Like here you can see from node 3 I am starting activity C and D that is plumbing and electrification work. So that node 3 is called as your burst event. Now last is your merge event. If so many activities are merging at a single point then that single point is called as your merge event. So here node 6 will act as merge event for activity E and F. So this is the network planning or network diagram which is useful for critical path method as well as PERT analysis from which we have to find out the total duration of the project. Thank you. Please like and share my videos. Also subscribe to my channel.